Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day. Just a quick look at uh, a banana smoothie that I've made. It's uh, six bananas and a small handful of dates. So you can probably see from the side of it, see the little date chunks that are in there. Little tiny date pieces uh, all throughout. And you can actually see on the lid, see the little tiny date pieces. So uh, six bananas, uh, a small handful of dates, and um, make sure they're pitted, of course, and uh, put them in the blender. Now, you'll need to make sure you blend it up on pulse, because when you put the dates in, unless you soak them, uh, they'll be quite hard. So you'll need to um, you'll need to make sure you use the pulse button and not put them on low. Have a high-speed blender, preferably. Uh, but you could soak the dates beforehand. I just quickly put together the smoothie and thought I wouldn't worry about soaking the dates beforehand. But it's probably good, a good idea to do that. So uh, that's the lid. I just took it off. It's a fresh smoothie. Now you could put lots of things in there. I mean, I was considering putting in raisins to see what that would taste like. But I'll have to do that uh, some other time. So uh, please write in the comments below what you prefer in your smoothies. Do you like... like uh, I like to use banana as a base, so you could put in uh, strawberries, you could put in blueberries, mulberries, raspberries, any any sort of sort of berries, acai berry. You could put in um, you could put in lots of different ingredients. You could put in mango, you could put in papaya, you could put in kiwi fruit. I mean, what do you prefer in your smoothies? So put that in the comment section below. Uh, please click the like button if you like this video. Please click the little red subscribe button to uh, see more videos. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.